Seven minutes after the hour, time for a look at the news. It's a Thursday, the ninth day of May for 2019. Well, the body of a man found submerged in Angels Creek near downtown Murphy's has been identified. Late yesterday, Calaveras County Coroner Kevin Raggio confirmed the body was that of 40-year-old Murphy's resident Randy Terry. Raggio says a forensic autopsy is scheduled for Friday to determine Terry's exact cause of death. The sheriff's office initially received the call Tuesday just after 11 in the morning that a body had been found in the creek just outside the main commercial thoroughfare of Murphy's and before the intersection of French Gulch Road with Murphy's Grade Road. Terry was reported missing about two weeks ago. Well, on heels of the recent counterfeit activity in Calaveras County, Amador County Sheriff Office warning local merchants and residents a number of bogus bills have popped up here in Amador County. American River Bank reportedly took in five bills in only five days. Now, over the past few days, a number of local stores have also reported taking bogus bills. In each of these cases, these were bleached bills. The pens do not work. Bleached bills are a form of counterfeit money made from legitimate U.S. currency, usually in denominations of one or fives. The bills are bleached with household chemicals to remove the ink, then reprinted as a larger denomination, either 50 or $100 bills. Now, this fake money passes hands easily because the testing markers don't always pick up on the fakes due to the authentic paper. Newer bills are harder to counterfeit because they contain a number of features. For example, with a $100 bill, hold the note to the light, look for a faint image of Benjamin Franklin in the blank space to the right. The image is visible from both sides of the note. Tilt the note to see the number 100 in the lower right corner of the front of the note. And you see it shift from green to black. If you get one of these bogus bills, you should call your local law enforcement agency as soon as possible. And Cal Fire is in the final days of a two-week prescribed burn on the Winton Vegetation Management Site. The burn area is located about four miles south of Wilseyville in the vicinity of Winton Road, Shad's Road, and Bailey Ridge Road. The burn is being used to reduce fuels in the area. Burning operations will be conducted throughout this week from 10 to 5 each day with Calaveras County Air Pollution Control approval. Now, fire engines, hand crews, and other local resources have also been on scene throughout the daily burns. And Senator Andreas Borges and Assemblyman Frank Bigelow hosted the 45th annual Capital Frog Jump yesterday. Held on the east lawn of the state capitol, the jump was held to promote the 91st anniversary of the Jumping Frog Jubilee at the Calaveras County Fair. Legislators, staffs, and members of the media competed to see whose frog would make the longest and shortest leap. First place award went to Florencio Vaca, a legislative staffer from Assemblymember Luis Rivas' office. His frog, Rana Del Rey, jumped 12 feet and 1 inches. Una Rana. Lana Del Rey is one of my favorite artists. Really? Joe Michaels from KFBK and his frog, Christopher Ribbit, won the media competition with a jump of 8 feet 9 inches. The shortest jump went to Assemblymember Jim Wood. His frog managed a meager three feet, five inches. Wah, wah, wah. The Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee kicks off next Thursday, May 16th, runs through the 19th. And Main Street Theatre Works and the Preston Castle invite you to the second annual Plays on the Patio, Saturday the 18th, 630 to 9 at the Preston Castle. Tickets are just $40, which include wine tasting from seven of Amador's best wineries, a wine glass, and a variety of desserts to taste from the National. Tastings begin at 6.30, and then at 7.30, guests will be treated to a series of one-acts, scenes, and monologues performed by the Main Street Theater Works Company of Actors. To purchase tickets to plays on the patio, visit MainStreetTheaterWorks.org. The event is a guaranteed sellout. Get your tickets now. There are a few left, we're being told. That's why we're trying to push it today. There are no refunds. Proceeds from plays on the patio go to support MSTW and the efforts of the Preston Castle Foundation. By the way, there will be no tours of the castle during the event. Well, brighten up your meals with condiments from your garden this summer. Vinegar helps the depth and complexity of flavor when aged with herbs and fruit. Vine-ripened tomatoes create spectacular barbecue sauce, ketchup, and sandwich spritz. Fruits can make a delicious, tangy summer drink as well. 
Learn how to create these wonderful condiments, make your meals sparkle with the Master Food Preservers this Saturday. The class is free, 9 to noon at the Amador GSA building off Airport Road. No registration is required. And the application deadline for the 2019 Miss Amador Scholarship Competition has been extended again until next Monday, Monday the 13th. Now the scholarships awarded are $2,000 for Miss Amador, first runner-up $1,000, $750 for second runner-up, $500 for third runner-up. Applications are available online. Again, they have extended the uh, deadline to this coming Monday. Visit Amador County Fair dot com or call the fairgrounds office for more details and that's a look at local news on a gold country thursday morning from the kvgc news center i'm jd and i'm jim geedy reporting remember for the latest news traffic and weather 24 hours a day visit our website at kvgcradio.com